Let's go to the very core of quantitative methods. Um, by now your toolbox should be big enough so you can conduct some basic analyses. Um, our next topic will be regression analysis. Regression analysis might be the most used and most established technique that there is. If you look at quantitative journals you realize that the use of a lot of techniques is simply due to a trend. A lot of them have their momentum and vanish in the dust of time. But of all the techniques that there is, regression analysis has always been and will be a fundamental tool. So we'll spend a good chunk of videos on this topic. Now what is the main idea behind regression analysis? What I want you to do is remember what correlation looks like. Um, we used to do a scatter plot with an x and y axis. So we had a y axis and an x axis. x and y. Now um, every axis represents one variable. So x represents one variable and the y axis represents one variable. Um, we then simply plotted every observation on the scatter plot according to the value it takes. So it one observation had a certain y value and a certain x value. And then we simply put in a dot for this observation. And we did that with every observation that there is. So your scatter plot might look something like this. Okay. Okay, what did we do next? Well, we calculated the Pearson correlation coefficient. But that didn't tell us anything about the direction of the underlying relationship. It only accounted for the correlation of x to y and y to x, so the correlation in both directions. What regression analysis does is, it distinguishes between one dependent and one or more independent variable. So the value of the dependent variable depends on the values taken by the independent variables or the single, single independent variable. So you have one dependent variable and one or more independent variables. And the value of the dependent variable depends on the values taken by the independent variables or the single independent variable. Now, y is always the dependent variable. So y is always d dependent variable. So y is the variable you would like to explain and x represents the independent variable. So x is independent variable. So you want to explain y with x. Okay. Um, so instead of talking about a correlation across both variables, we're able to identify the exact relationship x has on y. Now take a look at our scatter plot. Okay, so take a look at this. Um, do you see some pattern? Well, it looks like we have a strong positive correlation. Um, what regression analysis does is pretty simple. It draws a line that goes straight, straight through through this cloud. So it draws a line. Well, let me get another color so you can actually distinguish it. So it draws a line that goes right through this cloud of points. So this is what regression uh, analysis does. Mm. Now, we don't draw this line arbitrarily. Uh, th this line is called least squares regression line. So this line, the blue line, is called least squares regression line. Why that complicated name? Well, the idea is that we want to draw a line that is as close to all the dots as possible. But how do we do that? Um, well, the calculation by hand is pretty tedious, but the computer is able to do this in just a second. And the goal is to minimize the sum of the squared distances to the line. Now, um, why do we have to square them? Well, let's take a let's take a point that is above the line. So let's take a point that is above the line. Let's take this point for example. This point right here. Okay, the the blue point. Um, now, the the distance to the line might be equal. So the distance to the line, this this little uh, line right here, the distance to the line might be equal to let's say two. Okay, so the distance of this. Uh, let me get another color for this dot. So the distance of this dot is equal to 2. Um, now let's take a dot below the line. So let's take, I don't know, this this dot for example. Okay, so what the, this is the distance of the dot to our regression line. Now 
this one might be equal to minus two. So this point right here, the distance to the regression line might be equal to minus two. Now, since distance is always a positive value, we have to square them in order to get a positive distance. Now, that's why we talk about least squares. We want a line that has the least squared distance to all of the dots. Well, think of this line as some sort of simplification of reality. This line is in fact what we call a model. It simplifies our cloud of, cloud of observations. What this line says is, if x grows, so you see the, the pattern right here, if x grows, and x is the um, independent variable, if x grows, so let's say it like, like this, um, if x grows, so if x grows, y grows as well because it's a positive correlation it's a positive relationship um, and this is in fact what we call a model it simplifies our cloud of observations um, now if you didn't get that don't worry i promise you you will understand it in the next videos